Hey, what's that noise? Hey, looks like some... What is that? Play-Doh? Let me see if I can make some out of this. Maybe some pottery. I think I'll do it Indian style. You know, Wahoo Indian style? American Indian style? Yeah, they made it by what's called a coil method. I guess all of them did it. Probably Issaquina and Sacagawea. Maybe a little white dove, too. You kind of take it up and, and you roll the clay out. This is not like clay like they use, but it's close. And you roll it out in a long worm-like thing, kind of like a snake. But boy, I hate snakes. So we continue to build up the sides of our bowl or pot here with coils, shaping it and smoothing the sides up as we go. Pretty soon, we've got a container, all shaped by hand. Bear in mind, in reality, this would maybe be as big as a quart or a gallon, or maybe 10 gallon. Really, really big. You can emboss it as well as paint it. I shaped the pencil in like this so I can make impressions on the soft material. Here's a real Indian pot here. Notice how it's not completely round? Yep. While the Indians were making pipes by the coil methods on the other side of the world, a wheel had been found and invented in the potter's wheel. In this way, a amount of small clay could be rotated by foot and shaped into a vessel. This allowed clay vessels to be mass produced. And they needed to do that too because they would break easily. Here they're decorating the potter in a factory in Turkey We'll look at some of the pots in Claudette's teapot collection. This one we bought in Budapest. I remember it well. It was in a shop in the building at the end of the street still had bullet holes from the 1956 revolution there. This also came with a matching sugar and creamer. This was the first teapot we bought in Rion, France. We found the little shop and the potter and his wife were working there and she was painting pots and he was finishing up some and they signed it right on the bottom. And while I was there, I had him do a drawing on an iPad I had with me. This pot came from Turkey. I love the classic shape and intricate flowers painted on it. We watched a girl decorate one like this while we were at the shop. And she signed it right on the bottom. And they all started out as dirt. Uh, I, mean, I mean clay. 